the link for the video from about four or five years ago that I talk about in this video is listed in the description. So go check it out. Alright, there's your train for today. All right, good morning, or good afternoon. It's about 12 o'clock. It's July the 5th. We loaded over in um, Springfield, Illinois. I've loaded at this place once before. It's been a long time ago. So, now one thing about these, this place here, if you look, they, um, they band everything together so this is like a whole unit and if you look closely you see this band right there so the whole all four bundles are banded together so I don't need a belly strap because they load it as one big piece and they do that because I guess this stuff's a little more delicate than the other stuff and they're concerned about a belly strap breaking the pipe so, but it works, it's legal. You can see right here. So you see how they band the top pieces on there and they're metal bands, so I trust that. Oh. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I think I washed, I think I told you guys I washed the truck. But it's all riding good going to Detroit, about 25,000 pounds. We're going to take Bailey out for a quick walk at this nice rest area. And then we'll get going. Alright, we're on Highway 57 or Interstate 57. Take exit 280. I was going to run up to the bottom side of Chicago. Run across the bottom side. Up to Michigan. In a quarter mile, turn right on the Illinois 54 East. Signs for on our door kind of the shortest way but Google Maps says that there's all kinds of traffic problems over there so uh, instead of sitting in traffic we'll go the scenic route it's not the fastest way but it's pretty especially all the, the corn you know it's grown
All right, it's the end of the day. Ugh. All right, it's the end of the day. Uh, man, I really went the long way. <laughs> I'm over here on 69 at a rest area in Michigan. Coldwater, Michigan, I think is the name of it. But uh, it is going on 8 o'clock here. And uh, I do not have a reload for tomorrow. We're about 120 miles from where we got to deliver. So, uh, uh, I was going to try to get up there, deliver it first thing in the morning. Problem is, I, if I don't reload for tomorrow, I don't know which direction to go in after I get loaded. So, we're going to leave here probably eh, 7 o'clock ish. We got about two hours up there. And then uh, that'll give us a little bit of time in the morning. Maybe we'll book something. So we drove about 370 miles since we got loaded. We've gone 378 miles today. We got 122 miles to deliver. So we're looking at 500 miles and this load paid on 450 miles. So I went 50 miles extra. But uh-oh, Google's talking here. Um, uh, but it's a pretty drive. Man, I like running the back roads out there in the farmland and stuff like that. To me, it's very relaxing. You're not fighting with the traffic on the interstates. But anyway. Alright, I gotta feed Bailey. She's been patient. She's ready. Alright, we're over here in South Lyons. Michigan we got lucky we got a reload we delivered our PVC pipe this morning and this place is like 10 miles away so come over here going to Tulsa Oklahoma all this stuff before so the uh, tubes got about 42,000 pounds on the trailer now these straps are just so I can get it out of the building we're gonna redo a couple things. Um, we're gonna put a bulkhead up. Put a bulkhead up about right here. We're gonna take some um, barrel straps around the bottom and the top, and then we'll put some straps on. So, but this stuff. Ah, uh, see how many years ago? It's probably maybe three years ago. I was hauling this stuff. But, car pulled out in front of me and I had put a bulkhead up and thank goodness I did because it shot forward and hit that bulkhead did what it was supposed to do but uh, yeah it was about three years ago all right uh, so we're gonna strap this down and then um, tarp her up all right so I got the barrel strap belly strap barrel strap choker strap that's probably a good word too I got it hooked up, wrapped around. Yeah, I'll show you real quick. So this strap goes up, over, back down, back around, it comes out the other side. So we're gonna take got two up. I've loosened up the other straps. And we're gonna take and tighten those straps up. We got everything strapped down. I might have used too many straps, but but uh, I don't have to worry about it. So basically, what I did is I strapped the bottom down, and then we strapped the top to the trailer. So all right, next thing we can dig out some wood. We're gonna put a um, bulkhead up, and uh, then we'll tarp it.
okay we got the bulkhead up and I know somebody's gonna say something it's not tall enough the job of that bulkhead is just to slow it down so if it should and, and just like it happened about three or four years ago I'll see if I can put a link for that video but just like it happened about three or four years ago I hit the brakes and that little bulkhead did what it was supposed to do and that will slow everything down I get a lot of questions especially from Europe of why I don't have a headache rack or a bulkhead on the trailer well in the United States you can either have it on the trailer or the tractor so that's my bulkhead mounted to the cab of the truck and once again that's just to slow everything down so hopefully it never gets that bad to where it hits that but that's the job now this is not required in the United States so you see like this guy here he doesn't have one but Mercer requires us to have a headache rack or a bulkhead all right good morning I think I left you guys I was finishing tarping this load it's doing good hasn't moved see that gap right there oh uh, we got down here to Louisville today Saturday morning we got down here to Louisville yesterday I wasn't planning on stopping but the uh, if you can see right here the exhaust pipe that goes right there had broke and uh, I had rigged it up several times with uh, a soup can and the soup can finally gave out so I went we're gonna fix it properly I uh, picked this up this morning in Napa I had to drive all over Louisville looking for these inch and a quarter go to one store they only had one but uh, that's our little project today that done it turned out pretty good it turned out pretty good a lot better hopefully it'll last for a while it is just starting to rain right now so I'm gonna clean up my stuff uh, get a shower and uh, we're probably gonna get out of here all right might be a little noisy out here but I think I think we're in Graysville I think it's the name of Garysville we're right on the state line of Indiana, Illinois on 64. I'll show you the big Peterbilt over there. Motorcycle hauler. Oh. So we drove about, I don't know, 120 miles since we left Louisville, which is close enough because tomorrow we'll drive over to Joplin, Missouri. But, uh, Little generator's a little quieter. Not quite as noisy. Sounds pretty good. Load's doing good. So anyway, wanted to show you all that. We'll call it quits for today. And thanks for watching.